Why didn't Palpatine attempt to find Yoda after the Revenge of the Sith? Despite Palpatine being very much aware of the Grandmaster's survival, it seems as though little effort was put into his capture. The Empire devoted little resources into hunting down Jedi, especially Grandmaster Yoda. In Legends, the bounty on Yoda's head was just over 30,000 credits, an insignificant amount compared to the trillions spent on the Death Star and the Imperial Navy. The bounty was also extremely difficult to collect, as it explicitly stated that the Jedi should be brought in alive, an almost impossible feat for most bounty hunters. In Legends, one of the main reasons for this was Palpatine's lack of concern for the Jedi. He truly believed the Jedi were no threat to his rule, as Order 66 had been a success. In fact, he even scolded Vader for hunting down Jedi, seeing it as a complete waste of time. In Palpatine's opinion, not even Yoda posed any threat to him. He had already failed to defeat him once, and he believed that he would again, if he so tried. It seems as though the only reason he allowed the remaining Jedi to be hunted down was to test and further corrupt his apprentice, Vader, who had a personal vendetta against the Jedi. However, Palpatine's rationale for not caring about the Jedi survivors extended further than a simple lack of fear or arrogance. Palpatine sought revenge against the Jedi for their defeat of the Sith long ago. Rather than allowing the Jedi to be killed and become one with the Force, Palpatine wanted the Jedi, and particularly the Grand Master, to suffer as they saw the galaxy transformed into the Sith's domain. This sadistic reasoning does make some logical sense. Many surviving Jedi, distraught with grief, would fall to the dark side of the Force, instead of dying a Jedi in tune with the light side. These Jedi died twisted and bitter husks of their former selves. This would theoretically darken the Force even further, strengthening Palpatine and further preventing the Jedi from ever defeating him. Ultimately though, Sidious was mistaken. Palpatine had used the Jedi's hubris to propel himself to power. Ironically though, the Grand Master and Obi-Wan used Palpatine's own arrogance to defeat him, training the young man who would one day destroy him and his empire.